welcome back, Mom and Dr. Jones, OBGYN and Mom24. I wanted to talk to you today about one of the most common questions that I get asked. I always say that. I always say this is the most common question. I'm lying every time. It's not the most common question. It's a question people ask me over and over. So today we're gonna answer a question people ask me over and over, which is, what is my work schedule and what does part-time OBGYN look like? If you're not subscribed, please hit subscribe. We have a lot of fun here. We like science, we like sarcasm, we like reaction videos, coffee, children, YouTube, the Olympics, golf, babies, traveling, gymnastics, sleeping, macrame swings, ice cream. Every time I make a video, I look at myself in this camera and I think, what are you doing? What are you talking about? Why are you talking about it? Get to the point. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And today we're gonna to talk about being a part-time OBGYN. This video is kindly sponsored by Audible. You can get your first audiobook plus two Audible Originals for free. Visit audible.com slash mom and Dr. Jones or text mom and Dr. Jones to 500 500. Audible has an amazing selection of audiobook content, Audible Originals, which are only available on their platform. I would highly suggest going with something from Brene Brown. Braving the Wilderness absolutely changed how I look at my life. Everything she writes just gives me a new perspective. I absolutely love Brene Brown. Go to audible.com slash mom and Dr. Jones or text mom and Dr. Jones to 500 500 and try it out today. Thanks again to Audible for sponsoring this video and thank you guys for supporting me endlessly. Let's get back to the content. Talk about all this. Let me quickly define what I'm talking about. So when I say clinic, it means I'm seeing patients in an outpatient setting, making appointments coming into clinic. I sometimes schedule GYN surgeries. I sometimes schedule C-sections or inductions and things like that. So during my clinic days, I will often be running back and forth to deliver a baby or I'll have a minimally invasive surgery or just small procedure over lunch, things like that. So the days are still crazy and varied, which is kind of what I loved about OB to begin with, but they are relatively predictable on the days I'm not on call in that I usually start at a certain time, which is like seven to eight, depending on if I have laboring patients or inductions or GYN surgeries. And I usually finish with my clinic patients by like 4.30 and then round and finish documenting and come home. So it's relatively predictable, although that can always change if there's something going on or an emergency or a patient in labor who suddenly needs to have a baby and you know I mean it has you have to have a flexible brain and you have to be able to roll with the punches a lovely thing about my clinic is that it attaches to the hospital so if I have a patient in labor and I'm seeing patients in clinic and I get called to go deliver that baby I can just run over and quickly deliver the baby nurse practitioner or PA who works in my office or one of my partners who is on call or just has some time to help may see one or two of my patients or if the patients would like they can wait for me or reschedule up to them. We try to minimize that, but it happens sometimes and we can't control that at 100%. I mean, that's part of what being an OBGYN is, is that babies are not always predictable, so. Okay, what does part-time OBGYN work look like? For me, when I was getting out of residency and looking for a job, I knew I did not want to work five full clinic days a week and also take call. So what I, opted for was a position here where I have 3.5 clinic days a week. So three and a half days out of the week, I am in clinic. Now that is flexible. Clinic for me means I am either seeing patients in the clinic who are scheduled for outpatient visits or I am operating. So if I schedule surgeries that I don't have clinic at that time and I have clinic after or before the surgery and it adds up to be 3.5 days at the hospital a week now on top of that I am in a group with about six other people taking call right now and we have a split up call schedule which means that one in six is my call schedule so every sixth day and Monday through Friday count as weekdays and then every sixth weekend I am on call so about once a week, a little bit less than once a week, I have a 24 hour call. So one of those days that I'm in clinic, I'm also on call from 7 a.m. to 7 a.m. That means 
I potentially could be in house for 24 hours. Sometimes I come home and there's nothing going on and I don't have to be at the hospital, but a lot of times we're there at least intermittently through the night. And that next day I will have an extra half day off. So if I'm on call like on a Monday and I usually would have clinic for a half day on Tuesday, I will not have a clinic the next day. So that usually adds up to somewhere between 35 and 55 hours of work a week with my call schedule because on the weekend we take 48 hour calls. So every month and a half I have a Saturday and Sunday where I'm on call for a full weekend and on Monday I am off after that. I know it's really confusing. If you, it, it's, it's very hard to conceptualize if you don't really understand like what a day-to-day -day in the hospital versus clinic versus on call looks like for us. But the, the long and short of that is almost every week I work Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And almost every week, one of those days I work for 24 hours and the other two of those days I work eight hours seeing patients in the clinic, delivering babies, doing surgeries, etc. And then every once in a while I have a Saturday 7 a.m. to Monday 7 a.m. on call on the weekend. And then we also have on top of all of that, because you need more, right? A backup call schedule where I'm basically on backup call to come in if there's a lot going on and my partner needs extra sets of hands or there's some big surgery or complication that somebody needs help with. So for that, you're basically, you have to be available and in town and like not away from your phone, but you don't have to actively be in the hospital much and all of those things. So it sounds very complicated when I say it and I'm realizing that as I try to explain it to you, but the, the long and short of it is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, with one of those being a 24 hour call and the other two being a typical clinic, like seven to six or seven to five thing. And then every sixth weekend and some backup call thrown in there that doesn't really, I mean, it counts, but it doesn't count into our work hours and stuff like that. So it's not part time for a regular job. It's part time for medicine and it's a really great balance for me. I love having Thursday off. That is always my day off for me to do whatever I want, make a YouTube video, keep my kids home from daycare or school and just spend time with them, go do self care things that I don't get enough time to do, get my hair cut, which I haven't done in like a year. All those things that I want to do, I can do on those days off and it's really lovely. So I feel like I have great balance here and I love it. Now, another common like spinoff of that question is how hard is it to find a part-time OBGYN job? And I would say it depends. You have to be flexible with something. So for me, when I started looking for a job, and I think this goes for a lot of fields, like you have to compromise on something. I knew I'm either gonna compromise on money, on location, as on time. I want to have time with my family, prioritize that one. And then the other two, I mean, Obviously I want to make money, pay off my loans, all that stuff. I'm not going to take a job working this many hours after being in school for decades and get paid $10 an hour. That would be crazy. But I also don't care to be making the most out of all the OBGYNs in the whole country. That's not on my priority list. So I compromised on that and I compromised on location, meaning not, not because we didn't want to be here, but because we were just flexible. We would have gone wherever as long as the position was right and they afforded me the flexibility and the part-time position that I wanted. Now of note, for my office, this is considered 70%, but in a lot of offices, it's pretty standard if you're on a call schedule to have a day off a week because you take 24 hour calls. I love my job. I love my part-time setup. I don't know what the long-term future looks like for us. We have some big hopes and dreams to do things a little bit differently um, and off the grid and unusual and just kind of live life a little bit different. And those are some things we're working on right now. So I hope you guys can be a part of that. I hope that we can document our journey here as it's 
coming to light and we're starting to see little doors open that are providing us with the opportunities to do that and i'm excited to share it with you guys as it happens because you're a part of it you are a part of it you're a part of the reason that we can have those dreams and look forward to achieving them so thank you thank you for being here thank you for supporting my channel if you want a don't be offended by science shirt you can get it at my teespring link in the description if you have not watched this excellent video about how i decided to become an OBGYN you should go watch that now. Be kind to yourself, to each other, to me. In the comments, be kind, and I will see you next time.